Hey guys, it's Lee. It is April afternoon, and I'm at a different location because I just picked up a new one. Now this is, um, I think, a special one. So let me show you what's special about it. If you will notice, all right, it's got a sleeve hitch on it. Can you see it? I got the other part in the back of the truck. I'll show you that. But what do you see missing on this side? What you see missing is that handle with the little clicker to raise the deck up and down. It's missing because it's got electric. So this has got electric um, motor underneath that raises the implements up and down. So I got a scraper blade that fits a sleeve hitch right here. That's what that is. Looks like a homemade one, I don't know. I got the rest of the uh, sleeve hitch in the back of the truck. And that's about it. That's the only special thing about it. I mean, it's pretty rough looking. Um, you know, the seat, I got a good seat at home. You know, the tires, I believe, say Sears on them. That's how old it is. Um, it's got a black eye, which if I'm not mistaken, I think I might have a lens for that at home. Uh, Craftsman 2, it's not, it don't have the owning. I think it's, I don't know what it's got. Let's see. What is that? Is that a Briggs? I can't even tell what it is. Don't know what it is yet. I'll find out. But anyway, well, that's it for now. Now, this is probably a keeper. Yeah, that says Sears on it. I mean, they hold air, as the guy said. So, so I'll run it around like this for a while, check it out. And if it proves to be a good uh, tractor, this is probably a keeper for me. Um, so there's the other part of the sleeve hitch, and that's what the deck hangs off, which it don't have a deck. <clears throat> but I got two decks at home that I'm pretty sure fit this. I don't know. I'm sure they will. Um, so anyway. See what happens. Hey, if you like videos like these, subscribe to Murphy Mowers. Yep. Yep, right there they are. I got two of them. And uh, the linear actuators. Oh, there's one right there hanging up. Well, there's two right there hanging up. And I got two up in my attic. So I got four. So surely out of four. Surely out of four, one of them will work. I might could take that one apart and clean it and stuff. And this has one. Now this one is identical to what you just saw, what I just bought. But this is an awning. So this is a special one as well. I got the sleeve hitch on it. And it's got the linear actuator. So I got two of them. But this engine's having trouble. So anyway. Okay, there it is. So I messed around with the one that was on there and it is going the full length of the stroke. So there it is. It's uh, That's what it's supposed to look like. So let me go down with it. Switch right here. Okay, so I got it to go all the way down. So what I figured out about this mower, a little bit off camera, is the sleeve hitch moves up and down easily when there's no pressure on it. So like, I'll do it here in a minute, but I can 
just rest my foot on it and it won't go up. So it's very, very weak. So if I got an implement, it's not going up and down. But if I take the implement off and leave it like that, it will go up and down. So let's take a look. As you have seen, you know, I have three or four extras. And so I'm just gonna try them. I mean, you know, I got them, I'm gonna try to use them. But I am gonna ask the Sears guys, what is a good replacement for that? Um, I mean, I'll take the measurements and go online, but um, you know, all of mine are original. You know, they're all 40, 50 years old and uh we're at least 40 years old and um so they're not gonna last long even if they work so anyway so give me a part number of a good replacement that fits right in there that'd be great that'd just save me some time and frustration uh but i am gonna try to throw this one on i'm just gonna plug it up first make sure it even works and uh we'll so i don't know what i'm gonna run into but i got some pliers and needle nose um, usually those clips are hard to get off, but I'm going to show you exactly where this is. There's my extra one and there that one is. And I think it's just a bolt right there. Okay. And looks like a little pin right there. I don't know how hard that is going to pull out, but that's what it looks like to set up. Looks pretty good under here. Uh, but anyway, there's the plug. All right, let me do it. I was pulled cotter pin, this from here. What do you get? What's up in there? You can't. Um, I'm gonna get this wire. That's what I'm gonna hang on to to make a loop out of it. Put some gloves on. All right, um, if that works, it'll pull on out. Hey, it moved. There it goes. All right, there it is. And then now I'm just gonna take a half inch wrench and remove that. Okay, this one's off. That's pretty neat. Original Sears right there. Um, and I'm sure that is too. I don't even know if this works, so I'll put the pin back in. This is the new old one. That's got it kind of hanging there for right now. And I gotta start the engine for this to activate. So we'll just do it and see what happens. Okay, so it moved. I don't know if you can tell. I've moved that to where that would line up. It was moving slow though. By the way, that's the correct way to do it. I can't imagine that being any good. Maybe I can get a part number off this and get kind of what replaces it. Because this, is, if that works, it ain't gonna work long. Anyway, that's what I need. So if you know what part number of this is that would fit in here, share it with me. That's what I need. So I'm gonna end this video for now. But so I think what I've decided to do instead of playing around with a bunch of 30 something year old linear actuators or electric actuators from Sears that I have is I'm actually going to locate, or I just Googled it, and um, I found a company, and they're going to rebuild it for me. So I'm going to take that Sears one um, that looked pretty nice and uh, take it to the shop 
and have them rebuild it. So I'm gonna end this video um, and then I'll continue because this the guy said that he was backed up. So it's probably gonna be like um, a month or so before I get the rebuild back. So anyway, all right. Hey, if you like this kind of stuff, you know, subscribe to my channel. We'll do a follow up on a linear actuator when it comes back. I'm kind of curious how much it's going to cost. So be curious. I'll, I'll update you on all that kind of stuff. All right, I'm out.